I'm gonna have a get shit done day today. Ooh, holy nuts, they're huge. Little sheer mashed top. Why do I do this? Why do I think DIYing is always cheaper? Because it's definitely not. Dude, it's filters like this. See this? This says that my ideal hair color is brown. Why did these not exist when I was in college and I box dyed my hair? Because I broke up with a terrible boyfriend who was like 10 years older than me. First snow of the year. Me just trying to figure out how I'm going to make this costume work. I'm going to freeze. But I was thinking this. I'm going to wear sweatpants, obviously. Probably jeans. I don't know. How am I going to do this? We're going to go to like two houses. I don't think it's supposed to snow throughout the entire day. Oh, gosh. You guys, this is bad. I cannot believe how much it is snowing outside right now. What the heck? I mean, it's beautiful. I love it, but like, not for Halloween. <laughs> Hi there, Mario. It's okay. What? All right, bud. Come on. Hello. Good morning. Drinkles. Hello. Hi, Pooh Bear. I just got back from my workout and I ran to Whole Foods and spent way too damn much money. But I got some cool stuff that I'm excited to try. So let me let me show you and then tell you what I'm making for dinner. I'm gonna have a get shit done day today. I have so much random things to do. First I have to edit. Whew, let me show you what I got. My house looks like bombs. Literal bombs went off everywhere. This has been the longest and shortest week of life. No, it's really been a long week. I lied. It's not even short. It's Thursday. All right, ran over to Whole Foods. Got halibut because it was on salesies and it's like never on sale. So some halibut, um, some chicken breast for tonight. Make some chicken to go with my. I'm going to make, I think I made this last year. Was it last year? The What's Gabby Cooking or What's Cooking Gabby. Um, her butternut squash pasta. So I grabbed butternut squash. So I'm going to have chicken and butternut squash pasta. I grabbed some apples for Scott. Why were these apples $20? These better be the best apples of freaking life. That's expensive. And they were on sale. Oh my God. I grabbed some blueberries. I've been liking having blueberries with yogurt for a breakfast option. Trash from my son in the car. He always asks me, he's very into like eating a snack on the way to school because he doesn't eat very much dinner. I know it. Whatever, it gets him out the door. <laughs> you know, you gotta pick your battles. But um, he always asks me like right before we're about to get to the daycare, he's like, which side are you getting me out on? Which I get him out on basically the same side every single day. And I'm like, to come to find out, he asks me so that he can throw his food wrappers on the other side, the opposite side of where I'm taking him out, so that I don't see it and it just like becomes a pile. I caught on to his trick, so I don't tell him anymore. He still knows. I um, got some bucatini. She uses regular spaghetti with hers, but I did bucatini last time. Bucatini is my hands down favorite pasta. Love it. These, okay, I've been seeing these everywhere. They're stupid expensive. Four bagels for $13. It's dumb. But they have 25 grams of protein per bagel. I don't know, we're gonna see. I really wanna be making my own, my old, my old. The bagels that I used to make with Greek yogurt were so good, I just, I've gotten lazy to be honest with you. I also have never tried bone broth so I figured we would try it. it's a good way to add more protein whether I sip on it I want to taste it though and see how it tastes because I feel like it's gonna be tasty and nasty but I don't know but I figured this pasta recipe calls for chicken stock and so I could use chicken bone broth we'll see or I'll just taste it first some 
asparagus to go with my halibut, some heavy cream for the pasta, a shallot for the pasta. I already have two, I think, but I always like to grab extras. And then last but not least, I wish, my only complaint is that they should carry this in a bigger container because I eat two servings, so it lasts me like uh, two days. I need more. And one of y'all said that that um, Costco, your Costco sells individuals in like bulk. Mine does not, unfortunately. It's a crime that Costco doesn't sell the same stuff everywhere, but whatever. Whatever, so let's put this away and then let's go edit our little life away. And um, then on the list of things, I need to clean up this living room, put away the Halloween stuff. I need to remove all the plants from my garden. Look how... I don't know if you can see that down there, but it is just looking. No, you can't. Oh, girl, there it is. Looking gross. So I need to clean up, dig up those. First, let's see what this bagel is all about. 170 calories in 25 grams of protein. Oh, there's whey isolate in it. No wonder why. There is net carbs of two slices of banana, protein content of four eggs, and the sugar content of one celery stick. What? That is insane. Plant-based, oh, they're plant-based. Keto-friendly, non-GMO, no added sugar. I feel like these are gonna taste like garbage. The garbage. Just kidding, I don't know, we'll see. If I can get them open. Ooh, holy nuts, they're huge. Wow, those are bigger than I thought they would be. $3 for a bagel. $3.50 for a bagel. I guess that's not terrible. They smell bomb, I got the everything. Okay, so I think you just take and cut it and toast it like normal, right? There's no like extra frozen or refrigerated. Thaw before preparing. What? I feel like mine's kind of thawed, kind of not. Can we just agree that the worst thing, I'm trying to cut this thing because it's still kind of frozen. <gasps> oh my God, we're gonna save that stuff. <laughs> the worst thing about eating an everything bagel is watching everything fall off before you even eat it. All right, we have the bagel. It looks fluffy. I don't even know if this is gonna fit in my poster. So, if you love these little things, you go over to Amazon. I bought like a pack of like 12 of these refills like a year ago and I'm still, we're still going through them. We still have two left. So don't buy like each individual thing. It's such a waste. I have replaced this one other time because the pump got a little janky, but it's truly the best. A little part of that top part burned. So, ow! I wasn't playing no games. Ow! Oh my god, that's a little toasty for my liking. But we're okay. We're still okay. That's what we're working with. I forgot to my cream away. Okay. This is going to have like an insane amount of protein because the bagel is 25 calories, which is, or 25 grams, which is insane. I did a heavy workout today, so I deserve it. Oh, yum. I think I may have found my favorite breakfast thing in the entire world since 90% of it fell off. We're going to go in with our own everything but the bagel but we are having everything and the bagel yeah it's just okay it looks better than it tastes unfortunately okay I just finished those bagels. Mm -hmm. 
It's like missing something. Salt. 100% salt. But it just doesn't have that like, I don't know. It's not bad. I'm still questioning if I would get them again. I wish I wasn't lazy and I just bought or just made my um, ones that I make with Greek yogurt because those ones are so much better. Um, yeah, it's just, it falls a little flat. So I wouldn't say they're like bad by any means. I probably have seeds in my teeth, but um, I don't know. I've heard people like rave about them. They do not taste like a normal bagel. They have the same consistency as a normal bagel. Maybe because I just put cream cottage cheese on mine and if you put cream cheese on it, it would be better. But I wouldn't just put butter on it. I'd feel like, I don't know. They're okay. They are okay. They're worth a try. But I don't think they're going to be like an everyday. I don't know. I'm still on the fence. If you're somebody who like doesn't eat bread, I get Like if you're somebody who doesn't eat bread... you're really conscious about protein, then I guess it would probably check your box for you. Vitamin time. Um, but, I don't know. I wouldn't say run out and grab them. <laughs> Wish they were cheaper, but they're not. So I don't know if they're worth like $3.50. I'm still on the fence about these ritual vitamins, you guys. They're really cute, but I hate the mint. And I know you can switch the flavor to citrus. I wish they just had non-scented. Why they gotta have scents and flavors? Whoops. And it kind of lingers for a bit. And I don't like it because then I have to go in with this vanilla one that I also don't like. It kind of makes me gaggle <laughs> a little. The thing I am loving though is the cookie butter creamer from Clevia Farms. That's good. I'm having a hot coffee today. Whew. Warms my soul. I did not film yesterday. I ran to the mall. I was texting one of my friends um, and she was like, sent me this video or this picture of this body serum that she's obsessed with from um, Sephora. And I was like, Ooh, I'm interested. She knows really good body care. Like, so I take her recs like very seriously. Um, so I ran over to Sephora. Mostly I had to do it in store because I had a merch card that I forgot to use last time. So I wanted to go in store. So this is the, the item. And you guys know, I tried the, I grabbed the, I'm using it currently, the vitamin C from in beauty project. So this is their body serum. It's their Body Bright and Smooth, a 7% AHA BHA body serum. Reduces hyperpigmentation, rough and bumpy texture. It's got trans transamic, transamic, whatever, um, acid and niacinamide and vitamin C. Now, I don't have like discoloration necessarily in my skin, but she said it just helps with like overall smoothness. And this is a pretty big, pretty big um, package. So I just like even brightening and more hydration. So I'm excited to add this into my winter body care routine. And then I also grabbed this Laneige lip set, which I never, I haven't used Laneige in a hot minute, but I was curious to try it out again. And honestly, I used it last night and I feel like my lips are dry as heck. So I don't know. I'm so, so on the fence about that. And then I ordered Scott the Jack Black, um, which I'm gonna get lip kits but that is what i picked up from Sephora yesterday i had to go to the mall also because i had to return a pair of levi's jeans that didn't work for me i kept one but returned another pair and then i had to exchange these jeans at abercrombie i had gotten an all black this is a very like rigid denim there's like a little bit of stretch to it but not like their normal ones this is the ultra 90s high rise but this specific one i normally get a 26 in but I had to go up to a 27 because there was zero stretch in these. So I had to go to the store and try them on. Um, and normally I'm a Curve Love as well. And I did not like the Curve Love fit on them. So I just got the original, whatever. These are just like a complete black denim, which I don't have. I only have kind of like a washed blackish grayish denim. So I got those. In that same order that I ordered those jeans, I ordered this. I'm very blacked out. I thought this would be a cute like date night sort of outfit. 
city outfit. I don't know. I just thought it was really cute. I loved this bralette. It's like a satin bralette and I'm contemplating buying it in other colors because it's really stinking good for me. Um, it looks like a bikini top and it literally I would wear this as a bikini top. It's very flattering. So it's black like a satin silky little thing and then it had it I bought that to go with this little sheer mesh top. I saw this on Kathleen Posts, I want to say that's her name. Um, she was wearing this and I thought it was stunning. So I felt like an all black moment. How cute. But it's this like sheer mesh with these like floral things. I feel like this is a pretty timeless piece. You can pair this over like a black bodysuit. You can pair this over literally anything. You could do a black long sleeve underneath it. You could do, you know, whatever you want to do with it. But the bralette I thought was like a sassy sexy little moment. Is that everything I got at the mall yesterday? Yeah. Oh, I also did order this hat from Abercrombie, which is more of like a summer fun little hat, but I just thought it was kind of cute. Like this old school Miller, I don't drink Miller bear, but um, I just thought it was kind of cute. So I kept that. Um, anyway, that's it. That's all that I picked up. Now I'm going to um, edit and Get on with the rest of my life. I'm gonna try that body serum, I think, tonight, because I need to shower, because I got so sweaty. Or not tonight, like today. Um, oh, you know what I wanna do, though? I wanna sunless tan. So I'm not gonna use that, because I don't think that would be good to mix with sunless tan. I am just feeling very pasty. I wore this, like, white workout top today, and I was like, girl, you're safe through. All right, it is time to pick up my flowers. <laughs> Go ahead, girlfriend. I ripped up. I'm pretty sure the gardeners remove all this other stuff because I've never touched it before. Oh my god, I almost fell. So let's just grab the rest of my little butterflies. And. Oh, one little more flower. And carrots. I don't know how those are doing, but we're going to leave those there. Done. Also, not giving up on my mums yet. <laughs> and I probably should. Um, but I'm watering them from the bottom. See if they come back to life. Because I haven't watered them in a hot minute. Whew. That's a good out of me, y'all. Okay, so this is another <laughs> thing I'm not proud of. I thought I broke my straw. Because I, like, dropped it. Um, so I'm really sad, but I put my herbs out here and my basil's already dead. My mint and parsley is still okay, even though it froze. Um, there are so many potato bugs living in there and spiders. <laughs> so I'm like sad about that because I was just going to bring it in my house, but I don't like bugs. So I don't know how that's going to work. <sighs> so I'm... I think about that. I don't have the energy to repot it right now. <laughs> so, one thing at a time. Um, I have been moving. This is like my midday pick me up. Cause I told you I stopped drinking energy drinks. And I only have one little cup of coffee. So, I've been drinking this. I really like it. It's green tea. It does have caffeine in it, but not, I don't know how much. It doesn't say. But I like it. It's the, I like the regular, but I also like the blueberry pomegranate flavor from Trader Joe's. This is honestly really good. And a cup of this just kind of helps me power for the rest of the day because it's three o'clock and I'm tired. Getting dinner ready. Not that soon. Um, but I think the butter and the squash has to roast for like 40 minutes or so. Um, so I think I'm gonna head out for a WALK since I just spent some time outside with Winkles. She's, you guys, so just like not well on her feet. I would love to take her, but. Well, it's that too old, especially just walking in like one path. We did take her out in the nature preserve and she did great there because she can kind of like do her own thing and it's like, I don't know, it's just different, I feel like, than walking just around in a circle. So, um, anyway, yeah, I'm gonna get some sneaks on, 
go for a walk because I haven't been in the last like two days or so. So I decided to try this bone broth and it's like very like basic, doesn't taste like much. So I did mix a little bit of my, my better than bouillon in there um, and it tastes a little bit better, but I don't know. I don't think chicken stock's supposed to have a ton of flavor anyways. Anyway, I am boiling my pasta water. And getting ready to throw in my butternut squash. This must be super easy. I'll have it linked down below. Oh, I'm sleepy. Feels like a Friday. It's not Friday though. Of salt. A little bit of garlic. Oh, sorry you guys. And then pepper. If you're uncomfortable cooking meat, this is gonna be your best investment. It's so easy and so quick. And it tells you the inside of meat like really easy. I'm obsessed with this. Way better than like one of these things. So good. Okay, my pasta is almost done. My sauce is almost done. And I got my pasta done. Now let's pour a little bit. This is a lot of sauce, like a lot of. I'm gonna serve it up with some chicken. Looks so good. Just finished Pilates and then I'm treating myself to a first holiday Starbucks drink. I love the ice sugar cookie latte thing and I cut an extra shot. Let's go. Okay, I was gonna run over to Michael's but I found a Hobby Lobby. So we're gonna run to Hobby Lobby which I've been betting forever. I wanted to go to Michael's because they have Christmas decor on sale. Not that I'm going for Christmas decor, but I bet Hobby Lobby does too. This drink is good. $7.71. I mean, I did get an extra shot, but it's $7.71. These are so stinking cute. Oh my God. I'm obsessed with this. Like a curly little Christmas tree. <laughs> This was the whole reason I came in here was for a ribbon and they don't have what I want. Okay, I went to Michael's and I found everything that I needed. I'm gonna show you. To do like a blue velvet with this plaid on the Christmas tree this year, I think it would be cute. And then these I wanted for my hair. I thought making little bows out of this would be so cute. And I like refused. I need to stop touching this. I'm playing with <laughs> my busted up pimple. I refuse to pay. Like I know wreaths, everything's on sale right now, like 40 to 60% off, but wreaths are like a hundred dollars. So even with 40 to 60% off, it's still going to be over $50 for a wreath. Why did I think they were like 25 bucks? That's craziness. Um, but this is my mind, right? I'm like, Oh, I'll just make one. I dang well know that how much I'm going to do to like how much time I'm going to invest in looking up how to make a wreath and then all the ingredients, like the ingredients, the parts, the, 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 the things, the whatever words today, um, it's going to be more than, <laughs> why do I do this? Why do I think DIYing is always cheaper? Cause it's definitely not that way, but anyway, got what I needed. Let's go home. Mm -hmm.